What is up YouTube, it's Kingfisher745 and in this video we're going to check out our preseason placement then you're going to see if I was lucky enough to unlock Blizzard with only 142 lockboxes Can I do it? Is it even possible for the Kingfisher? Well we're going to find out Alright well I actually left my game on and came back to the reward screen so that was somewhat surprising at first I could have sworn it said 40,000 silver, but then 90,000 popped up. After that you get 200,000 silver for gold. That's going to be followed by 10 gold for vibranium. And finally for adamantium, I got 12 times the static electricity siphon. Unfortunately it's a balanced item and it's 16,008 offense and defense. I may find a place for them though, so we'll have to check that out later. Now my rating definitely wasn't that high, but it reverted to last season, so I'm not exactly sure where we finished. Honestly, it doesn't matter. But now we're going to go ahead and collect our flight deck, and also see who's done training. After this we're going to open all 140 lockboxes, and hopefully that's going to be enough to get Blizzard. Now here's a bit of a spoiler, I do have Silk and we're going to post the end of the spec op task list later. Right now she's at level 6, so she's going to be ready for PvP very soon. This means Blizzard's the only character in the game that I don't have, and now it's going to be the moment of truth. Now some of you are probably thinking 142 lockboxes, why not more? And you know what I had bad luck? And also, I didn't finish the daily a few times. Today, I couldn't get on any earlier, so I didn't do the daily or any matches. So that definitely hurt us. But hey, we start off strong with 5 CP and a brand new cover. Infinity Heist Volume 1, Number 2. So hey, once again, we start off strong with a brand new cover. Of course, we couldn't get a duplicate yet. But there it is in all its glory, and it looks pretty awesome. Now going right on to our next opening, this time we end up with the same exact cover. Well, that's not good. I'd like to say this isn't a bad sign for us getting Blizzard, but we got a duplicate right after our first cover. I don't think there's any positive way to spin that. Well, we couldn't get another dupe, so we got Iron Man Volume 1 number 240. And this is a pretty cool older cover, but not that old. Alright, let's keep that luck going with hopefully another new one. We still have a chance. So opening 10 times more, we end up with... This is taking a while. The New Thunderbolts Volume 1, Number 7. Alright, we'll take it, our third unique cover. And it's a pretty amazing cover also. I have to admit, I love the Thunderbolts books. Now since we have 3 covers, that means we're 5 away, and we have 10 times more opening. Now we went through the story for good luck, and this definitely helps out. Okay, that's not good luck whatsoever. We're never going to do that again. So opening 10 times more, this time, we really need a non-dupe. And we get a new cover, so New Thunderbolts Volume 1, Number 1. That means we're halfway home with 82 lockboxes. And once again, of course a Thunderbolts cover is going to be awesome. I'm pretty sure that's a requirement. Honestly, I can't even think of a bad one. But let's keep the streak, and we did with another brand new cover. So Captain America Volume 1, Number 412. Cap is always lucky, he's the best. So there's that cover. And it's got a lot going on, it's pretty cool. Battle Royal, or Battle Royale, if I want to be fancy. Now next up, let's get another new one. Kingfisher needs a new pair of shoes. And it's going to be New Thunderbolts Volume 1, Number 1. Did I say I like those covers? Because they're starting to lose favor with me. Quickly moving on from that disappointment, 
we're going to end up with another new cover, Infinity Heist Volume 1, Number 3. I'll be completely honest with you, I lost track there, but we have 6 of 8. And if we get our 7th cover, then I will remain pretty confident. Because at least we know we have a limit to how many we would have to buy. Or I should say a reasonable limit. So that's what I'm hoping for right now, just 7 out of 8 covers. And of course we get another dupe. Thanks a lot Thunderbolts. Alright, we're getting low on lockboxes and we still need 2 covers. And that decides it, I officially hate Thunderbolts and their covers. So thanks PD for ruining that team. We have 3 10 times openings left and we still need 2 covers. I'm officially getting bummed out. Wait a second, we do get another new cover. Iron Man Volume 1 number 86. So we got that 7th. And with that, I'm at least fairly pleased. But hey, let's stay positive. Maybe we can do this. That appears to be Blizzard's first appearance, which I'd actually like to have. So I'm going to look that up after this. But now let's go ahead and complete this collection with our 8th and final cover. Here we go. It's going to be Captain America's cover once again. Et tu, Captain? Okay, final 10 times opening. What would be the odds of us getting it? Honestly, there's no chance. I can't even believe it. PD has finally been kind to us. The lockboxes haven't let us down for once. Seriously, I'm kind of speechless. We somehow managed to get Blizzard without spending all of our gold. And I couldn't be happier. So there it is, our collection once again is complete. And that means we'll take a look at his storyline and check him out in PvE. Oh, but first up, his recruitment dialogue. Agent, thank you for giving me a second chance. Iron Man said I can take my Blizzard battlesuit out of cold storage. Cold storage, okay. Next. If you ever need any backup, you can count on me, Agent. As long as it's not something too terrifying, or life-threatening, or some otherworldly abomination with sharp pointy teeth, I might get cold feet. Cold feet. I see what you did there. This guy's taking a page out of my book. So anyways, moving on to the story. My name is Donald Gill, but my friends call me Donnie. You can call me Donnie too, if you want. I'm not really good at this. I used to work for Justin Hammer, one of Stark Industries' competitors. I would show up to work on time, didn't complain about my job, and always kept a smile on my face. You sound pleasant, Donnie. I guess it got me noticed because I ended up in one of Hammer's cool battle suits. My first assignment was to secure a different battle suit that another employee had stolen. Alright, so far sounds legit. I didn't realize it at the time, but after a couple of botched assignments and a few heart to hearts with Iron Man, I saw that I was just a pawn in a game of corporate espionage and crime. I tried to follow where the work was, the Masters of Evil, Hydra, the Brotherhood, even Madame Mask and her Magia hangers-ons. Those were miserable times. Then Blizzard was on Scared Straight. Or he recently ran into a kid with a pet dinosaur. He melted my suit subsystems with his robo gauntlets and said I should be more chill and think about changing sides. So I did. But what heroics am I capable of? I did remember that one time I ran over the Mandarin with a car while he was fighting Iron Man. And Iron Man did say he owed me a favor. So I guess I came here to collect. And he sent me straight to you, Agent. Well, I guess running the Mandarin over with a car is kind of heroic. So what do you say, Agent? Care to have another cool guy on your team? Uh, sorry about that. I really need to learn when to stop with the Blizzard puns. Hey, wait a second. Is that a shot at me? Well, now me and Blizzard have beef. And revenge is a dish best served cold. So just remember that. Alright, well with all 8 covers, the story, and all that cool stuff down, we'll go ahead and take them into battle, with Silk, and at least get a really quick first look. 
I believe we're in Season 2, Chapter 9, probably Mission 2. But I might be wrong on the mission. Either way, we're taking on a single wave threat with a level 6 Silk and level 1 Blizzard. So let's get this party started. Hopefully we get to see Blizzard before our agent takes out everyone. But as long as we don't counter too often, we should be fine. One down already though. And after that, it looks like we're going to get a chance with Blizzard. But just barely. So first of all, we'll use our web drop. And that's going to generalize the hand scorpion. Next, with Blizzard. First of all, he has icing up, so he gains cold reception each turn. Right now, he has cold reception times two. It reduces damage from attacks while active. Then we're going to use his Ice Beam which has Blood Runs Cold. Chilled attacks stun bleeding targets. This attack also causes chilled. So it's pretty cool and like we said before, we're going to have some fun making some chilled plus bleeding teams. Besides that, Silk is awesome against generalized targets so we'll go ahead and take a look at what happens right now. And of course, first off she makes that web shield. Well, she calls it a Silk Shield. That comes from Hyper Reflexes, Block, Gain Rising Up, and Counter with Webbed against Generalist and Generalized Targets. This is why she's going to be awesome with someone like Avalanche. So that's going to be a team up we explore very soon, as she is already at level 6. So we'll just go ahead and recharge with her, and see one more Ice Beam. And that's going to be it for our Unlocking a Blizzard video. I hope that you enjoyed it, I want to thank you all for watching, and also ask you to please like, comment, and subscribe. There's going to be plenty more Blizzard action soon, but with that, take care everyone, and good luck.